Welcome to this video for deep value ETF investing using Google Sheets. I built this file and I'm just going to explain to you how it all works so you can modify it and improve on it. So the first thing I've done is I put in the tickers for all the ETFs in this column C. Then I've asked Google Finance what is the name associated with that ticker. So I'll just use equals Google Finance, cell C2, and then the name. Next, I've asked Google Finance what the price is. For Google Finance, you don't actually need the price command. You just do equals Google Finance, C2. Then I've done some quite complicated things. I've looked at the percentage that the price is below the 52-week high. So I've pulled the 52-week high by selecting this command, which is looking at today minus 52 times 7, 52 weeks, versus today, highest amount, uh, the maximum of that column, column 2, and then just done a division. So that, that selected percent below 52 week high. Then I've done percent below 3 year high, which is 156 weeks, 7 days in a week. That's got that one. Then I've selected the 200 day moving average and just looked at whether the current price is above or below that 200 day moving average uh, using a work day command because it's 200 like trading days, working days. Uh, I've done the same here on a 50 day moving average, just changing it from today minus 200 to today minus 250. I've then manually put in the morning star category and box data. And then finally, I've just ranked all of the ETFs to find out which one has the deepest value, which currently is EZA, South Africa. Then I've got this tab called ranked, where I've just pulled in the rank at number one and then just done a lookup from all of the raw data just to sort it all automatically uh, according to the rankings. So we've got it all here. So this should mirror what Mika um, produces. And then I've done a few other potentially interesting things. I've put together a candlestick chart for a fund. You just change the fund name here and then it'll plot the candlestick chart for you. This is the formula here. It's uh, weekly bars that I'm pulling here. Next, I've built a sheet called Signal. And what this does is you put in the ticker here. So this is Korea again. Uh, we look at the time periods, look at the price. We pull in the moving averages again. So 20, 50, 200 uh, changes in prices. Again, work days. 220 there, what the 52 week high is again there. And then I have a trade criteria that I've set, and you can reprogram it up to set your own trade criteria. So using an if command, and then because it's several criteria, we have to use if and then and. So it's saying if the F4 20 day moving average is rising and the O4 percentage within the 52 week high is 80% or less so it's going to be 20% or more off the 52 week high then you buy and then if it's pretty much at a new 52 week high very close to it then you sell so if we scroll down we're looking to find a buy signal and we find it in early August so come back to the candlestick chart early August yep looks nice so that's our buy signal. Great, we can go with that. And then just to compare what I've done to uh, more like reality, here is uh, from a website, bigcharts.com. So here's Korea. And uh, yeah, here it is, moving average rising in August. And the price is around, you should be able to see, 54, 53 here. Um, which is exactly what's coming through from the signal here. So then what we can do is, if we want to run it for a different ETF, just change the ticket here. 
So we're now looking at Mexico and we have to wait for the data to load, which can be a bit slow in Google Sheets. Um, there's quite a lot of calculations going on. So um, it's partly how quickly you can download from the internet and the processing power on your PC. Um, if we go back to the oh, oh, right, screenshot, so we're looking again, it's going to be around the August, September time. We're looking at about a price of $40 if that's when we want to buy. If we come back, scroll down, there we go, $41. That's when it says you should buy, and again, early August. So if you had a lot of cash early August and you invested wisely, you'd have made money, and well done to you. So please feel free to comment on this and to work with it to improve it. Um, you should be able to access this on a read-only basis, and you just do file, make a copy, and then you can make your own copy and edit it without altering the original. Thanks.